Look at this. I'm too big to fit through. That's what I said. Huh? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Trax here. I'm part 31 of Kingdom 3528's Let's Play. Alright, so we last left off. And then we do a mission with Luxor. Or Luke Sword, whatever the name is. And you went to Wonderland. We just collected some hearts and it's kind of about it. And I believe we talked to Axel in the clock tower. And he kind of told us he would talk to Syax. And he tried talking to Syax and Syax didn't really say anything. So yeah, and then today, day 173, it's titled Lies. And at the end of the last episode, Axel basically sort of lied to Roxas saying how Syax is going to take back his words or whatever. Which is not really anything crazy, like it's not like a big lie or anything like that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there'll be more to this episode. Because if that's a lie, then it's kind of like nothing. It's not even like a bad lie. That's why I'm expecting there to be more. But anyways, get into the video, so let's talk to Axel. Alright, so hey Roxas, have you been working on your weapons any? Wait, are we that right or are we crazy? I don't know. I can't write it really fast, so... Syax said he had a special mission- Oh my god, I don't want to do a special mission for Syax. But from the sound of it, you'll need a decent weapon first. Gotta be safe. Alright, this is the rule of the sky, I'm gonna flip out. If you want a mission, show me a weapon with three or more units installed. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have three, I think. Hey, nice piece, you should be fine with that weapon. Not that I have any doubts, but you know, anyway. I thought Syax was ready to take on that mission. Okay, so I was actually gonna fix my command board, or whatever it's called. In the command panel? Or panel, whatever. Yeah, we had like one level of block. Oh, we can put the dodge roll level 3 there as well. Uh um, okay, you know what? Actually, I can do that really quick. Let me just put this out of here. I'll put dodge roll. Actually, I can't. I have dodge roll on the other one. So, let's get rid of dodge roll here. Okay, we'll put the level of block over here. There we go. And then, we're gonna put dodge roll. I think wrong. Yeah, I was just off camera last episode, but I forgot. So, yeah, we're gonna do this really quick. So, we'll just do that. It'll be fine for now. I know we can buy some more skills or whatnot, but we don't have that much though. I'm not sure what we can buy. Let's see. Wait, that's it? Oh, wait, no, I put some wrong one. Next is right here. Yeah. Oh, air recovery. Okay, so I got air recovery, auto lock. I don't know if this is really good though, but I'm gonna have to buy everything, so I'm gonna do it. So, buy that, and we we'll buy this. So, I'll do this stuff later, I guess. We don't even have the air recovery extra blocks, so it doesn't really matter. But we do have auto lock, so I might put that on. Let's just try it out and see what it does. So, let's do that really quick. I have like one slot left anyway. Alright, so where is... Oh, we have limit boost. How about limit boost? Okay, so let's put limit boost here. And we'll get rid of one buyer and we're gonna put in auto lock. There we go. I'm gonna switch on Keyblade because before I kind of forgot, so... I'm gonna keep that Keyblade. I mean, it's pretty decent, I guess. Nothing crazy, but... Let's talk to Demix. Is Shion still doing the Rip Van Winkle thing? Man, what happened? It took me forever to say that. Oh my god, Rip Van Winkle. I can say it when I just talk really slowly, but when I say it really fast, it's like a tongue twister for me. Rip Van Winkle. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't even say it. Oh man. It's game time, Roxas. Use synthesis as a shop to combine the gear component A and rune tech and some bronze. What is that? Okay, we're probably gonna go over Okay, so let's see what tech that even is. It better be something good, man. Info for something stupid. Not gonna lie, I don't remember what he said. Hey, this right here. Dual gear. Oh, actually, I already have a dual gear. You already said, right? Yeah, I think so. We're gonna make. Oh my god, I, I can't even do this mission. Because <laughs> I have every other keyblade. God dang it, really? At least say that I tried it. Let's see if I'm Oh my god, god dang it. Oh, it's rune tech. Okay, hold on. Let me go back really quick. I thought it was combo tech. Alright, so let's go. There's another keyblade, and I can't really make it. It was this one. I can't make this anyway. So, well, too late. <laughs> too bad, Lux Sword. Or Luke Sword. I already made that keyblade. I didn't make the keyblade. The keyblade gods gave it to me. What a mission I have for you required you to visit a new world. Part of soon you're ready. Alright, this is. Like what you call it, Lemberland, then... Hmm... New World? Oh, Neverland. Okay, so I don't know if this is Rule of the Sky. I'm gonna assume this is Rule of the Sky. I didn't really prepare for this. I'm gonna do this next episode. So next episode, I'm gonna change the player character that I'm using. Like right now, I'm using Roxas. I'm gonna change it to maybe dual-wielding Roxas. And make it a little more interesting. Good. As you guys know, the rule of the sky is a very painful boss fight. So I kind of want to do something to spice up a little bit and make it not only faster, but more entertaining. So I think I'll be using dual wielding Roxas. That or I might use another character. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to skip this one for now. I want to do like these filler quests. Also, I kind of want to talk about some stuff anyway. So we'll do these like filler missions, I guess. So we'll do this one, collecting hearts. But yeah, what I really want to talk about is Missing Link. Like, man. There's so many... Missing Link videos and news out there now with the beta going on. And I'm just like so jealous of the people playing Missing Link. I've been wanting to play Missing Link for so long. And seeing these people play Missing Link, I'm just like, man. Like, I wish that was me. <laughs> like, God, I wish that was me. You know? Like that meme. But yeah, I can't wait till that game comes out. 
Oh, that was auto locked. Okay, so yeah, that's how auto lock works. Oh, I see. Okay, so when I attack, it locks on. Okay, I'm not sure that's really great. I might be decent in some situation, but it might be annoying in some other situation. Oh, uh, we're gonna need zero again. Okay, so where is the zero? I have a bone for him. Alright, but yeah, going back to Missing Link, it looks so good. Like, the gameplay looks pretty fluid. Like, it's not choppy as I thought it would be. I thought it would be, like, kind of poopy because, like, it is a mobile game. But it looks really good. Oh my god. Mobile game definitely came a long way. Like, ever since Genshin Impact, every mobile game now is, like, top notch. I should do it. What do you think, Zero? I had a doctor build it for me. What even is that? Oh, that's the lamp to go to the other side. On Halloween, I light these lanterns and make my grand entrance. In for quite a surprise. Oh, I'm almost late. I better hurry to lap. Be good by Zero. I love Zero Man. He's a good boy. But also going back to next episode, I want to look ahead of time to see if that mission actually is the rule of the sky. But if it isn't, I don't want to switch to play a character for nothing. I gotta make sure that's actually the right mission. But anyways, like I before, when it comes to Missing Link, that game looks so good. And not only that, but the amount of customization options you have in that game, it's kind of insane. Way more than Union Cross. I don't know. Like, Union Cross didn't have a lot of customization options, it's just that most of it was like outfits. I mean, those new hairs and stuff. That's kind of about it, you know? Yeah, I feel like Missing Link would definitely have way more customization options when it, like, ends. Like, Union Cross lasted for, what, like, five years? So I got, like, five years worth of, like, outfit and costume. So Missing Link lasts just as long. I'm curious to know how many outfits and hairstyles there would be in the game. But, yeah, okay. What was the oh. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I think I opened up the tombstone. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm really just talking, and I'm not really paying attention to anything. And there's only bones here. Where's Zero, man? I, I don't even know where he is. Maybe I'm going to Zero, I don't know. Man, it's so cool. Did we ever go to this place in Kingdom Hearts 1? I feel like we did, right? Or maybe it's only the about two days exclusive place. I don't know. Stop! Oh, these menaces again. What? Who's there? Oh my god, you're literally like... <laughs> Rox is literally like, what? Who's there? And he just exploded. Wow. Rox just exploded randomly. It's hilarious. Ah, uh, it's you kids again. These nerds. You can't go past here. Time to kick their butts. Roadblock. Catch. Yo, Rox, hit it back. Hit it back, Rox. Oh, Rox is with the Ultra Instinct. Bruh, stop getting in the way. Oh, stop getting in my way, whatever. I beat these kids up. Man, these guys are annoying. I remember, like, in Kingdom Hearts 2. Actually, did you fight them in Kingdom Hearts 1? I don't remember. I know in Kingdom Hearts 2, we, we kind of threw them in the... He did blow up. Like this. Oh, what? Oh, man. I thought I was gonna, like, hit him. Actually, it might have hit him. I don't know. But I thought it would be, like, a taste of the old medicine type of thing. Oh, they're both down? Really? There's only one left. Wow, that's quick. I thought it would be as hard as Kingdom Hearts 1 or Kingdom Hearts 2. Wait, where is he? Oh, auto lock is annoying. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I knew auto lock would be annoying at some instance. I love his like scream, like wow. <laughs> oh man, who voices lock? His voice is hilarious. Okay, okay, we give up. Take it easy. It kind of reminds me of like Drake and Drake Josh. Like, whoa, just take it easy, man. Tell me, why are you walking away? My uh, best friend Oogie's there. If we didn't, you go back there and err uh, nothing. Back where? The what? What's back there? Christmas Town? I don't even think it's called Christmas Town. I don't know what it's called. Nothing. Yeah, a whole lot of. We promise we won't pull any more pranks. Please let us go. Please. Now nah, y'all going to jail. Yo, menaces. Pranks? Getting in the way was a prank? Why even bother? <laughs> you know, Rox just goes insane. Because it's fun. Fun? I don't really see how it's. Oh my god, that. Like, what's called? Lock? Looks so scary. At least I think it's Lock, right? The one with the red mask. Oh my god, dude, he's crazy. Even the other dude with, like, the white mask. <laughs> no, he, no, no, he looks funny. Like, Lock looks scary. Well, it is. Pranks are the best. These guys are like, yo, if these guys were real, they would be like YouTubers in, like, 2010s. Oh, like, not 2010s, but, like, the 2015 to... 2020 era. He was doing like pranks and like social experiments on YouTube. See for yourself. Hit it back. Hit it back. Oh my god. How many times the rocks have to be hit with a bomb in order to learn to hit it back? Wow. I mean, he only dodged it once. Come on, man. Now's our chance. This is the guy who was like the strongest in the organization. Come on, man. Run away. 
Rox is the fraud. Oh my god, look at this. How many bombs do they have? This is like literally Klee from Genshin Impact. Hmm. I like the lantern idea well enough, but I wish there was something else to add a little more oomph. Here's the bomb jack skeleton. Run away! Why didn't run like that? Where to? Our secret hiding spot. Get him! Those three. Up to no good again, I'm sure. Wait a minute. Explosions! And Jack become Michael Bay. Something with mm, explosions? Did somebody say boom? Boom. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Man, so recently I just watched. Not even recently, yesterday I watched Transformers again, after not watching it for like at least 10 years. And man, it was really good. Way better than what I remember it to be. Now that I'm older, I can like really appreciate some of like the finer details of the movie. Like when I was a kid, all I cared about was like seeing the Transformers fighting. Like the Autobots and Decepticons. I was always a huge fan of Transformers. I remember I used to have like Transformer toys and stuff like that. I remember when I first saw this live action Transformer movie, it was crazy. Transformer was the Avengers before Avengers. It was like the movie to watch before Avengers and like Marvel came back again. Not really back, I don't know. Before like they stole the hype or whatever. The Transformer movie made like 5 billion in the box offices. It's insane. Those movies are so good. And having seen like the commercial for like the recent one, Rides of the Beast or whatever, it doesn't look as good animation wide. I mean the animation, I don't know what it's called, but like CGI wise compared to the older movie, like the first one. I mean okay, the first one wasn't really that great either. It was really good but wasn't like super good or anything like that. But yeah, now I think about it, I think that movie came out before Avatar. But it probably took forever too make that movie not even like the acting part but like cgiing like the transformers whatnot i can imagine how hard it is to be like a video effects director and cgi people thing man it's been crazy probably so many hours you know like going insane but yeah transformers really good i loved it like before it was definitely like the avengers before the avengers it kind of stinks to see that transformers not really getting as much love as this once did. I don't know how well Rise of the Beast did in the box offices, but I'm pretty sure it must have done okay, I guess. Right? Like, I don't think it'll do really bad. I don't know. There's not really much movies like Transformers out there. Like, when it comes to, like, Marvel and stuff like that, there's a lot of, like, superhero shows and movies and whatnot. There isn't much competition when it comes to Transformers. Other than maybe stuff like Gundam. I guess it's like Pacific Rim. I feel like ever since Transformers came out, people tried to like do some like of those robot movies or like mecha movies like Pacific Rim. I'm not sure if Pacific Rim is like a original IP or is it like a show or something like that or a like this. I'm too big to fit through. That's what I said. <laughs> oh man. What was I saying before? <laughs> well, there's something about how Hey, hold up. Where are you going? Over here. Okay. okay. Something about, you know, Transformers kind of like starting a new movement for like mecha movies. So like kind of like how Avengers Endgame started a movement for multiverse stuff. Oh my god, you know how many movies and shows now doing the whole multiverse thing? Oh my god, it's insane. Transformers in like the 2000s definitely started a little movie when it comes to mech movies I guess. Yeah like Pacific Rim. I'm not sure if Pacific Rim was a original IP or not. Or maybe it's like already a show or a maybe even like a manga or anime, I don't know. And just turn into like a live action. But other than Pacific Rim, I don't think there's any other like robot type movies that did as well as Transformers. With Marvel, at least they're like DC uh, competitions, stuff like that. I'm kinda surprised they haven't made a live action Gundam movie yet. At least like recently. I'm pretty sure there probably was a live action Gundam movie in the past but like i'm talking about recently or at least like during the whole transformer era i feel like that would be the perfect time to capitalize on that but i didn't do it unfortunately oh so this is a long mission i didn't notice that i already recorded for 25 minutes and we're going back to camera dressing link man the amount of stuff in that game is insane i'm so excited for that game this game is gonna be huge but unfortunately with it being a mole game a lot of people are still gonna give it a flack and kind of like talk bad about the game but I feel like people should just give it a chance. Not even to like really get into it, but just give it a chance. Maybe you might like it, I don't know. If you don't like it, like, that's fine. Like it's not for everybody. But man, like you're definitely missing out for sure. Cause Kingdom Hearts Link will be it's looking to be really good. Yeah, like don't knock it till you try, you know? The thing is like a lot of people were like saying how they don't like the main story being a lock to mole game, which personally I agree as well. I don't think it should be locked mole game, but at the same time, like, I understand why with how big old games are in Japan. That's Cinema's like main target audience and like Cinema's main target audience in general is Japan. Them making a Kingdom Hearts World game and making the story locked to a Kingdom Hearts World game 
it's really for the JP player base. Yeah, like, it's not really about people on the Western side. I mean, they do care, but, like, they don't care as much as the Japanese audience. Yeah, like, as long as the Japanese audience likes it, that's, like, what mostly is important. That's one reason why they are doing a Kinect World game. That and also because mobile games make them a lot of money. Like, a ridiculous amount of money. They would be kind of dumb not to do that. Especially since how Square Enix basically lost $2 billion over, like, the past couple of years from Avengers. They definitely want to make that money back. I would not be shocked if they do more mobile games than gacha games. <laughs> Just to make that up, man. $2 billion is a lot of money. But yeah, like, it's kind of hard to please everybody. Unfortunately, like, there's always people not gonna like whatever happens to the King of Life. Oh, that's an extra bone. Okay, I thought there was more. It kind of gave Zero an extra bone. Because he's a good boy, helping us out. But yeah, like, unfortunately, you can't really please everybody. I'm pretty sure with the amount of people who are kind of mad about King Mark vs. Link, there's also a decent amount of people who are liking King Mark vs. Link and can't wait to try it out. So yeah, like, there's always two sides to it. Now, I'm one of those people who are really excited for King Mark vs. Link. Like, even if I am, you know, a big fan of mobile games in general, like, even if I wasn't a big fan of mobile games, I still would be really excited for Mystic Link for sure. Day 174. Action. Reaction. Reaction commands? Does this game even have reaction commands? I don't think so. Alright, so let me look at the missions really quick. Oh, we only need two missions. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Is this a short mission? Let me the dual blade. Oh, the emblems. Okay, these aren't too long. Alright, you know what? Let's do these really quick, I guess. Yeah, team up definitely, okay, whatever. Alright, so all we gotta do is just eliminate the dual blade, get two chests. So yeah, it'll be really quick. Maybe speed running this. Alright, so we really don't need to fight these guys. So I'm gonna quickly get through these quests. And I, I realized that. Oh my god, we're fighting them already. Is it dual blade or dual blades? Oh, these scatter bombs. I think we need to use them too. Oh my god, I can't even see. Oh, you know what? The fire? Get him. Watch out. Oh, you just gotta be kidding me. Really? I mean, we're really strong now, so it really doesn't matter. And, you know, I, I shouldn't be fighting these guys. I just fighting this guy. Okay, you know what magic I have? Yeah, fire. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm locked onto him. I don't understand why it made me aim it like the middle of nowhere. Yeah, this guy does like no damage. Oh my god, this would have been a tough quest in the beginning of this game, but now I'm like overpowered. Wait, what was going? Seismic toss? Oh my god. You know, you like charge on Seismic toss in the show. I remember Seismic toss being super cool. The thing is, the move in that game is horrible. Like, Seismic toss only does like 50 damage or something like that. Something really low. Yeah, but how cool it looks in the show. Oh, wait, hold up. This thing. Demix, help me. Demix. Demix! 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 You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so... Let me get this emblem here. There's some chests here. Air oh, we got a level block for air recover. No more emblems, right? Over here. Can you even get that one? Right, you know I, maybe I can do a little better. Okay. I know I can. Oh, I really need block. I not block. I really need glide. Yeah, I can't get it. Whatever. What was I talking about before? I was talking about like missing Link or something. Oh, right here. The one of the badge. Wait, didn't I get a badge before? There's like three badges now? Yeah. There's three badges. I did not know that. Alright, so let's do the last one. We're just collecting emblems. Day 175. Nothing. Why did they give that name, like, or that day a name when nothing happened? Hey, what's the point? I do this last one, and then we do that mission next episode. If it's not Rule of the Sky, then we quickly get through that world, I guess. At least there's more story stuff, though. Alright, so we get the emblems now. Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Having Glider would definitely make things a lot easier, for sure. <laughs> Look at Luxor holding his cards like that. Oh my god, it's starting already. Luxor, help me. Ah! I can't get that one. What? That's cheating. I want this chest. Get recipe. Give me a Alright, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna fully complete this mission kind of stinks. No, nothing else here, right? Yeah, I think it'll tell me something else here. Get me out of here. Let's go. I wish my partners could help me, man. Like, oh, what the heck? Playing these missions kind of gives me the anxiety. Like, oh my god, man. You gotta go, like, super quickly. I just feel so slow. All right, get this one. Chest over there. We're about to... Actually, you know what? End right now. Cure recipe. Did we already get cure recipe? All right, how am I supposed to get that one over there? Go. Oh, so close. One over here. And one over here. Ah, oh my god, that messed me up. Oh, I didn't know one here, okay. Lux are having place! I think that's it, right? Actually, you know what? I feel like one of these things could bring me to what that thing is. Yeah, there's one over there. Oh, god dang it. Right, I gotta find the right portal. I don't know which one it is. I missed one chest. But yeah, I'm curious when King of Mr. Slink will be coming out. After the closed beta, I'm assuming that it's gonna have an open beta. Because usually, they always do the open beta eventually before the game comes out. Yeah, it actually seems to have really tested out the game in America. it definitely be at least another closed beta. I feel like for America, and then to be an open beta for everything, like every country. Oh god, okay, wow, we got one messed up. But there we go, so oh, that's kind of everything. I'm missing a chest. I don't know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's probably somewhere in the, like, the, the forest area. It's definitely gonna be open beta before the game comes out. I'm assuming this game's gonna come out sometime in spring. 
the earliest spring of next year, but I'm kind of expecting it to come out during the summer. Kind of same thing with Pokemon Go. Like Pokemon Go came out in early July, I believe July 6th or something. When is it July? Uh, is it July? 6th? I think so, something like that. So I'm assuming Kingdom Hearts Link would be sometime around summer. I feel like that's the best time to really drop the game, or at least whatever season is the best for both Japan and America, whether it's like springtime or something like that. I know the season in Japan kind of a little bit different. Yeah, I don't know what the best time it is in Japan to drop it, but can I even get up there? Oh, you know what? I think I can. Hold up. Can I? Actually, no, maybe not. Really not. No, I can't. What? Out here. Can I get over here? Oh, yeah, I can. I'm going here. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going for a chest, not. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Oh, I can't get out of here. Never mind. But yeah, like, when King Arthur's Link comes out, and I'm gonna go in on that game. I'm gonna play the heck out of that game. I'll be making over the guides and whatnot, and some other stuff. Hopefully by then, I'll have my group back when it comes to YouTube and be able to upload videos more consistently. And that way I can definitely really go into that game, you know? But yeah, like, I'm so excited to do content in that game. And not even when the game comes down, but like doing content during like the beta and like the open beta and whatnot. But I can't get into that. I'm assuming getting into like closed beta would be really hard. For America especially, because there'd be a lot of people applying. I hope we get in though. I'll definitely be making videos on the closed beta for sure. Oh my god, I can't- Yo, this thing is so annoying. There we go, okay. I can finally use this drink. Oh my god, it didn't let me use it when there's so many- when there was heartless around. There was so many heartless around. Right, so I can't find this last chest. Alright, so next episode we're going to be doing potentially rule of the sky. If not, then we're exploring a new world. Hmm, salty, but sweet. Roxas, you know why the sun sets red? No, Axel. Why does it set red? I don't know, but this ice cream tastes good, right? Yeah, salty. But sweet. <laughs> I have to see the commentary of what they're saying. They didn't really need to speak any dialogues, but I got what they're saying. That's why the looks alone. Day 176. Nothing. Yeah, they're so like that. They action and the reaction. That meant nothing. <laughs> nothing even happened. I guess maybe they want me to do the special mission in order to show the cutscene. And since I didn't do it, they didn't show anything. Yeah, but that's kind of this video. If you guys enjoyed, yeah, I'm looking at my 3 Let's Play. Be sure to subscribe button and plan to do more of them. And if also if you guys just did my 3 Let's Play, I'll do every single Wednesday. At least I try to anyway. Yeah, that's me time to check out my channel if you just did. I kind of talk more about missing Link, but yeah, unfortunately we didn't have enough time. But also because I don't know too much about Kingdom Hearts Link because part of me is kind of trying to avoid spoilers because I don't want to be spoiled for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. But at the same time, I don't really care that much, so I'm kind of torn. Like, part of me does care, but part of me doesn't. Yeah, I might, you know, look more into Kingdom Hearts Missing Link videos like that, and I'll have more stuff to talk about next episode. And also next episode, like I said before, that if we're finding Rule of the Sky, then it's going to be dual wielding Roxas. Uh, I'm excited to see how that's going to work. Even for glitches in my game, <laughs> and deletes a save file. That will kind of stink, man. But hopefully it doesn't do that. I might not be using dual wielding Roxas. I might use someone else. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, anyway, kind of video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let's end it off next to... Oh, Axel's gone. What? He was here before. Oh, whatever. Oh, he's sitting right here. Okay. Let's end it off next to fire and water. These two. Axel and Demix. But anyway, kind of video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.